Hi Pisces, welcome, it's Meredith. I'm here with your week ahead reading for October 31st through November 6th. Uh, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. If you're not doing any of those things, thank you for viewing, I'm glad you're here. Do check out the daily messages as well. And these week ahead readings are meant to be short, sweet, simple, and fun. So cross watch, check out uh, your sun, your moon, your rising, and do the same for the important people in your life too. All right, let's get into your reading. We are using first the Gateway Oracle, and this is all about the opportunities, the opened doors or the opening doors for you this week. What thresholds, what gateways are you crossing? You have renewing your life. Radiant vitality is filling my life. What a beautiful message, Pisces. I like the artwork too. This means you're making way on the foundation for something new or you're inspired to make change this week. Maybe you've got some reorganizing. Maybe you want to change the furniture around in your home, something. Perhaps you're cleaning out closets, but you're lightening your load, you're bringing efficiency, and I feel a more comforting and artistic atmosphere to your own foundation. The next card comes from the Halloween Oracle, and this is all about what's going on in self-relationship and the primary relationships in your world, and you have hearth. Happiness in our hearts and homes. See, here we go again. Here's the home card or a home card. Making a change, making a shift at home. Uh, you may simply enjoy being in your own space. You may not feel like, you know, running around and visiting or shopping or running errands. Whatever it is you typically do, you may feel like sticking closer to home. And while there... Something falls under your gaze that really wants your attention for upgrade and change. So you take advantage of that. Beautiful. Home is where the heart is, right? <laughs> and you're bringing more heart to your home. Uh, beautiful creatures, tarot. We are tuning into how you are growing and expanding on your spiritual journey this week. Your first card is the two of wands. See, here it is. More confirmation here. You have an eye toward the prospects around you. You are creating some shift and some change in your worldview. What's personal to you? And how can you maximize the happiness and joy within your worldview? And what changes need to be make, made so that your heart, you are in alignment with the vision of your heart? Next, you have temperance. Gosh, the alchemist, all about change. So Pisces, you're ready for some upgrades. You're ready for some shifts. I also feel as I'm looking at your cards that you feel secure, more secure in different aspects of your life where you hadn't previously. This shift into Scorpio season, this shift into autumn has brought an inspiration of change for you. So temperance is you being at play with the energies on offer. This is you engaging in, uh, you know, renewing and upgrading certain aspects of your life. And you're doing this at home. Wherever home is for you, could be where your feet are resting at the moment. Uh, doesn't actually have to be a structure. You are your own home. Your body is your vessel for your soul and you're making change all the way around. So it's reflected from the inside out. So your environment is gonna benefit from this. The next two cards that came out together, we have, oh goodness, five of swords. Yeah, this is what's doing it. Fives are unstable. Uh, this is what's inspiring you, perhaps. Fives are unstable in tarot, but their gift is that they offer an opportunity for stability. And again, I, I just want to say that there are some aspects, Pisces, that you may have not felt secure within, and now suddenly you do. And 
in that contrast and in that perspective, you're recognizing the swords. The swords are words. The swords are actions taken upon those words. So you've caught yourself where you've been speaking over your life in a way or recognizing within your life what needs change, what needs stabilization, and you're bringing it home for yourself. Coming with the Five of Swords, gosh, another five, the Hierophant. This is lovely. See, it's, it's a review of what works. It's a review of what feels unstable, and it's the action being taken to upgrade and stabilize for your own self. Now, the Hierophant is a marriage card as well, so take this into the realm of relationship. Start, of course, with self-relationship. How is your inner divine masculine, inner divine feminine in harmony at this time? And what energies have to be woven together, married, uh, to bring you the foundational upgrade that you're that you are seeking at this time. So take this new world view and your your inspired desire to change up the energy, be a, be a spiritual alchemist, make some changes on your foundation, lighten your load if you wish so that you've got more vibrant vitality flowing onto your foundation and be at peace in the home of your own heart and see what naturally comes of that. There's your reading for the week ahead, Pisces. Thank you again for being here. Do check out your other signs and those of the ones you love and most definitely check out the dailies. Peace, love, joy, happiness. Namaste.